Hi everybody, it's Kat and we're in the studio again today and today I'm going to share with you my technique for making my little concertina books with see-through hinges. But first I want to thank everyone for subscribing and if you'd like to subscribe you can just hit the subscribe button on the right hand corner of your screen if you're on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you have any questions today about the video or how the construction um, of, the, uh, of the little concertina or if you just want to leave a comment, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And um, if you hit the like button, we would so appreciate that if you like what you see. So we're going to get started. I'm going to show you how to create this. So a concertina book or an accordion book as they're also known is one of the oldest forms of bookmaking possible. All you need is a folded piece of paper and you have a book. Just put your design on here, whatever you want to say, and you have a wonderful book that's freestanding. So I think it's a, a really fabulous way to create a book. I have to tell you, you're never going to see a, uh, um, a complicated bookmaking process from me because I really believe that simple is the best and it's also the easiest for me to understand. But this, um, this book is uh, by no means simple, and I think that you're going to find it, it's really fun to create. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And to start out with, you're simply going to cut four little cards of paper, and I'll show you those. So I already have these pre-cut, they're three by three, and they are just simple little cards and we're going to join them together with ribbon or some kind of fabric and I'm going to show you how to do that next. But first of all let me talk about the ribbon. You could use any kind of ribbon that's see-through or sheer or you could use a netting which is what this is or a tool. And a tool is going to be a little bit harder and rougher. It's going to be a little harder to um, actually adhere to the paper but you could still use it. This is an old like wedding bale or a uh, piece of uh, lingerie like from an old petticoat. Um, something that, that sheer and that thin would work. The other thing that you could use is uh, muslin or any kind of fabric or old lace would be really cool in, a, in one of these books. So now I'm going to show you the second step. So the second step is really easy. You're simply going to take your hinge material, whatever that is. It could be muslin, it could be it could be the netting, it could be a ribbon, it doesn't really matter. And in this, in this instance I've chosen the netting just to show you that see-through look. And I'm going to glue it, it's, it's already glued down just lightly, but I'm going to glue it down. I'm going to show you how I did that. I used a brush and I used golden uh, regular gel mat. I always use this in the studio and you want to make sure that your glue adheres to the net or the ribbon or the lace, whatever it is, and that it, it really holds it. So you might have to come back and do this a couple of times to keep it glued down. It's going to plasticize your paper, but you, you have to have a good contact, otherwise it's just going to come apart even if you sew it. So, Okay, so that looks that looks pretty good and I'm just going to set it aside and I've got another one that's already finished for you to show you how to punch the holes with an awl and how to sew it. So this has already been glued down and I've started to pre-punch some holes. I'm going to show you exactly how I did that and show you exactly what you need. So the first thing is you need a clean cloth. I always use a white cloth in the studio. I don't use paper towels. I'm trying to cut down my carbon. Uh, footprint. So I use these and I only use white because if you use something with a color um, you may risk, um, like I ruined a wonderful piece of art one time uh, with a red towel. So you don't want to do that. So that's what I use. And then an awl and I have a small straight edge. And I'm going to just lay it on the cloth and then I'm going to sort of measure, not really measure, I'm just kind of guessing at it. If you want to measure it completely, go ahead. But I'm, go I'm going to um, give them a pretty good spacing. If you have to do it exactly, that's fine. And then just push through to the cloth. And that way you've got a nice, a nice hole to use in order to stitch. And now I'm going to show you 
in the, uh, the little concertina books that were in So Somerset. Um, I left the stitches long and I'm going to show you how I did that. So For this you're going to need, actually I'm using upholstery thread so that it's a little bit thicker and heavier so that you can see what I'm doing and I made the punch the hole punches a little bit bigger with a larger awl and so I'm going to go back in with my needle just to make sure that I can punch all the way through and I'm going to come through like this and I'm going to leave a length and I'll leave a long length so you can see and then I'm going to go back through that whole same hole and hold on to that tail I left. And you may want to cut this extra edge off. Um, I'm just demonstrating right now. Um, but I cut it off when I made the other books. And then I'm going to go back through that same hole again. This time I'm going to pull the tail of the thread through. And tighten it. And there you go. And then simply stitch through as many times as you want. In the small books, I stitched back and forth in some places um, over and over again, and some I just left just a plain straight stitch. So it's whatever you want to do. Um, it's your book. Now I'm going to show you a little bit um, something else that you can do with the books. You can make a, a covered concertina with covers. This is just a, a ready-made one from the store. But you can make a handmade covered concertina. So I used watercolor paper. This is just to give you another idea of something else you can do. So I used watercolor paper and I covered um, the, the outside and the backside with watercolor um, pencils and just to show you the difference if they were all white it would be hard to see. But all you have to do is fold your paper and then simply glue these together this end and this end to make the front cover and the back cover and then you have a little concertina covered concertina so I hope you enjoyed the mini concertina tutorial and we will do uh, a, a video on texture and how to create uh, the, a similar kind of look for your books sometime but next week, we're going to be going to Savannah in Charleston, and I'm going to take you with us. I'm going to be antiquing. I'm going to look for some wonderful ephemera to use in my work. And we're going to be looking at sunsets and sunrises, probably, and shooting video for you. So I hope you'll, you'll stay tuned and come back and see us next week. So, ciao for now.